what is up guys it is Vex here and today we're gonna be looking at something quite interesting really so today we're looking at possibly the crew 2 now I've been playing the crew for a long time it launched for free on June last year 2016 um, somewhere in there I think 15th so and on the 31st of December 2016 you can see here Ubisoft or the crew tweeted this saying you think you're ready for the next year think again winky face and you can see it's obviously the Lamborghini and a cruise ship see one might think it's nothing too big they might have another DLC planned like because with Call of Duty recently they've launched DLC 5 for Black Ops 3 that was not expected but very something very small it's called my eye the door open you probably think I'm mad but cruise ship if you think you're ready for the near year ahead think again think again door open cruise ship think again I think the crew 2 is going to be possibly set in Europe because this looks like a British cruise ship correct me if I'm wrong but I've seen quite a few of these style of cruise ships near my house and I hear a lot of them. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so they released that. And on the crew, I found a... Well, I found this location. It's on Miami, on the West Keys. Let's go to it. Scene. There you go. Right, so... Here we are. I'm in my Lambo. So, let's go into photo. Get rid of the UI. Does that look like the photo we just had? I think it does. Now, if we go back to... Actually, no, we'll stay on this. So, me and my friends were playing the game yesterday, and I was on my map, and I wanted to look at my challenges. I'm not sure if it's still here, but there's a really annoying noise when you launch this up. Okay, it's not. But, you know, it's right here. I think I'm on. It says, The Crew 2. Be on the road, stay with us for more high-octane thrills. So, that's pretty much announcing the game. And if we go back to the screen, go on to this. So if we come out of this picture and look at what they tweeted a couple of days ago. Let's go to the top. 12 million players. Have a look at this. So the crew has 12 million players. So that's quite a big achievement even for a game so that's obviously a hint at something they're thanking people after the teaser so I think without the crew 2 thing I just showed you I think this would be quite a good hint at another game and if we go further up there you go the tweet be on the road stay with us for more high octane thrills that is basically confirming it like the thing on the xbox or the game and so since they covered the entire us within the first crew which i did not expect them to do when uh, i first heard about it i thought they're just gonna do half of it and then maybe have a dlc where the rest comes in like a paywall but no they covered the whole us and if they were to release a crew too do you think they're gonna release it back in america just think logically if a game developer wants to make money, are they going to copy and paste their game? Don't worry about Call of Duty, that is the same thing over and over again, in my opinion. So, I don't think they're going to go to America. As much as you've got the background for America in the logo, I don't think it's going to be there. I think it's either going to be Europe or Asia. I don't think it's going to be Asia because... When you think of it, as much as Japan and China are going to be nice places to drive around, what sort of Americans and like street gangs for racing are found there? As far as I'm concerned, I don't have any idea if there is, but I think it's going to be Europe because of the cruise ship. If we go back down to where we were, we have the cruise ship, and that's a boat, obviously, for travel. So, travelling. That's obviously going to be part of the game. 
And since the doors open, we might be able to get out of our cars and get on the boat to travel across the map. So I'm thinking if they had the UK as like an area you start in or something, and then you travel to France, Spain, Portugal, all these places around Europe. But to get from them like fast traveling after you've been there, of course, possibly before you could do that, you'd have to take a boat. So potentially start in the UK, take a cruise ship to France, and then do some stuff there. I think that's quite a good idea for them. But I think since they've hit 12 million players, this year is definitely going to be a good year for them to launch the game. Because people still have the game fresh in their minds. Because they, they've obviously played it, or they're playing it right now. So... A lot of people are thinking that they'll release it next year in March or February. I don't think that's very good since the need, I'm pretty sure the new Need for Speed comes out in September sometime and there's almost guaranteed another Forza coming out. And so, <clears throat> yeah, and so I think if they release it around the same time as them, it will definitely get a lot of hype because it, the game was released for free and they didn't have to pay to get the experience. So I wasn't a big fan of games like this, like racing games, and all about cars. Uh, GTA was fun for me because you could get out of the car and do other stuff. But I think this would be a good step, in like a big step in the right direction if they released it around September time, when the kids go back to school. So then, when the holidays are still there, like when they're still on the holidays, sorry, um, they released a another tra uh, another trailer there is a trailer whilst, the, what, whilst they're in the holidays and then there is an announcement date a few weeks before they go back to school and since Christmas is coming up they can either ask their parents to get it for them to, for Christmas or they buy outright I think that's why most games launch around that time of the year anyway but I think with all the hype around it because it was free and the new DLC calling all units it was released a little while ago I think it'll be a perfect time for them to re release it. Anyway, that is it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, sorry for the, like, seeing OBS and that. I couldn't do much about it. I needed to get my Xbox screen and my PC screen. I tried my best. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thumbs up if you're looking forward to episodes on The Crew 2 when it comes out. Or even if you'd like episodes on The Crew, uh, like I'm playing now. Uh, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys.